video we're going to be looking at quantiles and percentiles and looking at how we can calculate them for continuous distributions. So quantiles and percentiles are basically looking at percentages. So the 60th percentile is the number such that the probability of x being less than that number is equal to 0 0.6. So what that means is if you have a number, so let's say we call it k, then the chance of it being less than that number is 60%. Then let's say the 30th percentile. Percentile. Once again, you have k, and the chance of that number being less is 30%. So this is not just for continuous distributions. However, we're going to look at how to calculate for it. Um, but the percentiles and quantiles apply to all the other probability distributions as well. So you have the 60th percentile, then you have the 30th, percentile, you can have uh, the 75th percentile, so that means that 25% of numbers are greater than it, and of course 75% of numbers are less than it. So that's pretty straightforward. So how does that relate to quantiles? Well quantiles are basically the exact same thing, but instead you represent it by 0 .6, 0 0.6 quantile, that would be the 0 0.3 quantile and that would be equal to the 0 0.75 quantile. So they're equivalent but the quantile is a decimal one and the percentile is a percentage but you don't say percentage you have to remember to say the 30th and the 60th and the 75th. So it does refer to an exact number such as k, so it's not a range, so that's the important thing to remember, so it's not a range. It is calculated by using a range, but it, it itself is not a range, it is a number. And you can see that when we do the example, it will become clearer that it actually is a number, however you do need to use such as a, a range to calculate its value. In this example, we have a hybrid or piecewise function here where fx is equal to 6 minus 2x between 2 and 3, and it's 0 elsewhere. So it's a probability density function. So, and then you have that, and I've just graphed it here. So you can check that. So it's 2, 2, 3, 0, 0 elsewhere, and then obviously the area is there. So, what about if it said we had to relate? the 75th percentile. Right, so we have to calculate the 75th percentile. So what we do here is we have to think that the probability of x being less than k has to equal 0 0.75 and then k is the 75th percentile. So we'll let that equal k. So we have fx here so what we can do is we can say that, well, the top limit has to be um, k, the bottom limit has to be 2, and then the middle is 6 minus 2x, so that's equivalent to fx, 6 minus 2x dx, and that has to equal 0 0.75. And we see how they relate, where you have k and it's less than, and we don't have to worry about zero because that's elsewhere, so we're looking at the lower limit. That's where that two comes in because that's the, the lower limit. So we solve this, and we, so obviously anti-diff, we get 6x minus x squared, because two comes down, so you get minus 2x. K2 equals 3 on 4. 6k minus k squared minus 12 minus 4 is equal to 3 on 4. Now, continuing the calculation, we get 6x, 6k minus k squared minus 8 is equal to 3 on 4. Uh, 6k minus k squared minus uh, 8 times 4, so that's 32 on 4 minus 3 on 4 is equal to 0. We get 6 uh, we'll put the k squared out in front, so negative k squared plus 6k minus 35 on 4 is equal to 0. 
So using the quadratic formula, we get k is equal to negative b, so negative 6, plus or minus the square root of b squared, so that's 36, times minus, 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 so that's going to be still minus, because 3 minuses, 35 and 4 times 4, because that's 4ac, that will give us minus 35 on 2a, so times by negative 2, uh, negative 1, so two, negative 2, and so that gives us k is equal to negative 6 plus or minus 1 on negative 2. So that means k is equal to 3.5 or 2.5. Now, if you remember to the actual function, fx was equal to uh, 6 minus 2x between the domain of 2 and 3. So it's really important to always look at domain for these questions. So therefore, it can't be 3.5. So... Therefore, the 75th percentile is equal to 2.5. So as you can see, it actually is a number, but we use sort of like the range to calculate what it is. And often you do have to use the quadratic formula, and then you can always, or norm, you can always eliminate a value because of the domain or because... Um, it doesn't fit depending on what the question and what the equation is. Back at the graph now that we've calculated, we can find that subbing, well we know that now the 75th percentile is 2.5, so that's the 75th percentile, so you can put that in, it's about here, so yeah, it equals 2.5 or 5 on 2, and then we know that there you can see graphically that this area here is equal to 75% of the data. Uh, percent, yeah, 75% of the results and the probability will be less than 2.5. Then you should also remember that conversely, this area here will equal 25%.